do that as a squad. We're back with another video. Um, as you can see, I'm in the kitchen just chilling right now. Um, you can probably see that part of water right there starting to boil. Rip out a title. And we're we'll making some Cajun pasta. We're gonna have, well, first, record it behind the camera. Okay, not too much. <laughs> this is my video. You guys wait. Huh? It's my video. Okay, uh, you're on set. Got it. Security. I'm going to help you. Um, but yeah, it's, it's Cajun pasta. You know what I'm saying? I just started, uh, started boiling the water. So these are the, no the noodles we use. I'm going to show y'all how I want to look. I guess you call them pin noodles. They like the little, you know what I'm saying? I got two boxes. I might not need both boxes, but, you know. Then we got Cajun style sausage. And then we're going to do, we got chicken breast. We, we're going to season it and cook it in the skillet. And then just add everything to the, uh, to the pasta. And then we're going to make our pasta like, I guess you could say homemade in a way. So we got chicken stock. We got uh, the W sauce, Winchester sauce. We got heavy cream. Of course, you gotta have butter with everything. And then we got paprika and garlic powder. Okay. And we, we, we were gonna buy the, uh, the garlic, uh, what is it called? The minced garlic. Yeah. But it was like $2. It's too much of the garlic. So, yeah, like we're gonna, we're gonna boil the noodles first. Get them going. Y'all yeah, take long. I'm gonna get a skillet so I can go and start cooking the chill the meat. This is a lit quick commercial, kinda. If y'all haven't tried this, y'all need to go try it right now. Cause when I tell y'all bussin', it's bussin'. And then another one y'all need to try is the crayon lemonade, but it's like in a little store that's like across the world from where we stay, so. Hmm. Y'all definitely need to go try that juice. It's not no promotion either. No, it's not. Sponsor. You might get it. But yeah, y'all definitely go try this. It's good. Ocean Spray, Cran Tropical. Go get it. Clutch. All right, y'all. So, as you can see, my water starting to pour real good. So, I'm going to go ahead and dump the noodles off on there. Think it's gonna be enough? Should. Ooh, pasta, pasta, pasta. Why didn't pasta a different color? I'm not looking at this. It feels slick and slimy. I don't like that feeling. Butter? Yeah. Butter, butter. So I cut some butter up, put it in a skillet. With the milk. In the meanwhile. In the meantime. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my uh, <laughs> cut my sausages up. I'm gonna do the sausages first. No, I'm gonna. Hmm. Yeah, we was gonna put shrimp in it, but we, we didn't want to put too much meat in it. Mm. I'm gonna do the chicken first. Season that thing. Okay, everybody. Um, <laughs> so, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do about chicken first. Uh, I'm gonna season it. Season that chicken, chicken. Them clothes smell good, you smell them? I'm gonna just put a generous amount on each side. What you season it with? Creole. When she sees her stuff, it be as she do too much sometimes. No, I don't. Stop bashing me. She heavy I know how to cook, though. You be eating. I moved out a couple times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we both know how to throw down. But he wanted to cook today. You know so I'm going to let him cook. Turn it over like that right now. Both sides of it. I don't 
putting this stuff, but that stuff like. Yeah, I believe they, they, they added something else to that stuff because this thing got stronger. Uh, and then, uh, I think what you want to do is, uh, uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> some butter, some butter in the skillet. I think I already showed y'all that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you okay, Chef Barty? It ain't Chef Barty. Jay. Chef Barty, Jay. Butter, butter kind of uh, cooked down, so I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. So, what that skillet for? I'm gonna get the chicken in it and the sausage in it. So when I put the chicken in the, in the, in the thing, I'm gonna cut the sausage in And uh, I'm gonna put this in there right after the chicken. I'm gonna keep doing everything in the same, you know what I'm saying? All the flavors gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you keep that, them, them noodles swirled up so they won't stick. Mm hmm. Butter, milk. Okay. Can I ask you to assist? Sure, why not? Let's let the butter melt down. It's this little something that I'm gonna put in there. Brown. If you get enough burnt, that's fine. That's where the flavor comes in. And as soon as I get done with the chicken, I'm gonna put the sausage in there. And when I do that, I can go and start making this. I can, I'm gonna uh, drain these off. I'm gonna make my little my sauce, my, uh, my, my you know what I'm saying. And then, yeah. So, because we can come over here right here. Rinse your board off. Y'all, he on the phone, but uh, all right, y'all. But right now, he's gonna get ready to drain the noodles because we don't want to overcook them. So, yeah, gonna drain those things. Look at them, it's all golden. And yeah, yeah, when you do your noodles, you want to rinse with cold water because cold water helps get like the starch and things, you know, the starch and stuff off of them, make them more healthier. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get back with you guys when he's finished rinsing those off and getting those back in the pot. I'm gonna show y'all the chicken. Chicken. Just about done over here. Good chicken. Ooh! Good old golden fried chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. Yeah, this is just about done. I'm gonna dry them out. Look at that. Look, I'm It's good when we both know how to cook, y'all. So we both be throwing down. So, yeah. We're going to be back with you guys when we get the sausages on. All right, y'all. So, Corey just put the sausages in here. Letting those get fully cooked. Well, they already like fully cooked, but letting them get a little brown a little. And our chicken is right here. We just came out. I don't know if y'all can see the steam still coming off of it. 
and he's about to get ready to whip up the homemade sauce in this pot too so yeah so when everything get done when the sauce get done just dump everything in and you ate some good old pasta let me brown so we get back with you guys when this is finished and Corey is ready to make the sauce so you can actually see that. Alright y'all, so I'm about to go ahead and slice up the chicken for him. I'm ready to make the sauce. I just, yeah, it don't really have to have to, look at me talking about crazy. Uh, it don't really have to be cut up a certain way. Just, you know, enough dice to where it can spread around like the whole pasta. I'm gonna show them how you do that. Why I do this? I'm just show y'all how I cut up one, and you probably will talk to y'all about how to do the, the sauce while I'm doing this. I put butter in there first. The buttermilk. <clears throat> we didn't have to find it. Yeah, I had turned it out because it was just all. I felt the heat coming from it. So I let the buttermilk first. I just got the butter in there already. And now I got a chicken stock, a couple chicken stocks. <clears throat> then, get the cream, shake it up. Yeah, that's good. That's actually good in coffee. If y'all haven't tried that in coffee, it's good. It make your, your coffee more creamier. Look how your girl diced that chicken up. Mmm, -hmm. good. It's just like we need green. I was trying to get the big one. Yeah. Uh, pull it off and I like that right there. Homemade pasta sauce. Yum, yum, yum. Just Need a whisk? Everything moving. Right? This one. Everything moving around. I see them sausages over there looking good. You know, they supposed to go with some red beans and rice. Then I'm gonna get the uh, garlic and paprika. Get garlic first. Garlic, garlic, garlic. And some paprika. Is paprika spicy? I don't mind if I had it. Me neither. Smell it. What does it smell like? Paprika. Mm, it smells cheesy. Then I'm going to put some of this in there. This kind of gives it a color too. I get a red Cajun color. Oh. Put a little bit more garlic in there. Let me spread it up first. Well, that smells good. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. <clears throat> With the heavy cream, you gotta keep whisking it till it get like a little thick. Mm. He's like turning them sausages off. You might have a little bit more cream to it. Yeah, cause we, don't, cause we got a lot of pasta. Yeah. We wanna make sure we have enough sauce. I'm gonna do another thing, the chicken broth. They kinda mm. like double the ingredients to make it more, you know. Be, be for sure it covers the pasta. You know, these, these kind of right here, these kind of right here, we gotta, you know, we gotta do an add a little, you know, add a little extra to it. Add a little razzle dazzle in there. A little extra. Here. A little bit more garlic. And then now, just keep whisking it until it like thickens up. And y'all, I forgot, I forgot to get the cheese from the stove, so we got some cheese, this taco blend cheese. This cheese is cheese. It's just supposed to like thicken it up a little bit. To me. Uh, so you got more sauce. I just want to make sure we have enough for like all this pasta and the meat we got. So now I guess I'm since I got everything kind of like. Mmm, this smells good. Got whisked up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, top of the cheese in there. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, this is shredded. Taco blend, by the way. Like I said, we we're supposed to have Parmesan, but look at it now. Too much already. Too cheesy. I like cheesy pasta. 
don't know about y'all, but I do. Once you mix it up, let it melt. Then it kind of mix together. It's already not that bad. I'll make sure it sticks at the bottom of the thing. I kind of got a, a little high so it won't uh, so it can cook. Let's see what this Salt. It's, it's good, it got good cheese, it tastes good. You just need like some, like some pinch of salt. What you think? When you're salty, you need some garlic powder. I mean, garlic powder don't make, really make it, give it that salt flavor. It's the garlic salt that does, so I don't want to put no salt in Let's put a little salt with little pepper. Now, since we got it to uh, where we want it. Look at that. Good and cheesy glistening sauce. We still got it on. I ain't want to cut it all the way off so we can stay warm. Yeah. So now we're going to add the noodles first. Got the noodle, noodle, noodles. Add these first. Y'all, we hope this enough sauce. So we might have to make some more. Uh -huh. I want to splash. I'm trying to do it. Yeah. Just like they stuck together. So now we get the... Because I can put everything in there, it's gonna fry up. Think so? Oh, look at that, y'all. Oh, cheesy. Cheesy, cheesy. Look at that one little pasta over there again. Yeah, stand out, darling. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to over Yeah, that might be good. Oh, look at that side. That sounds so good. All right, so now we got the noodles, noodles in there. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I know. It's a lot cheaper. Yeah. I'll take some off your hand. Chicken. Chicken in there. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. Good. It is a lot of chicken. Yeah, it up. But see, we was trying to like season the the, the, uh, the the sauce so it can be like real, so we can like really, really taste it. But the chicken is seasoned, and then the sausage is seasoned. Yeah. So we want to like over, like you know, overdo, overdo it. A tad bit, of, a, a little bit more sauce power than good. We can make some on the extra dish. Don't put none of that grease in there. Let's just look at that, y'all. Yum. So we might have to make some extra. Just probably like one more little thing of sauce on the side to make it more moist. More liquid, yeah. Yeah. So we might actually make that sauce off camera because since you guys already seen how we made it the first time. And then we'll show you guys the finished product once we add the extra sauce in it. That's if we do, right? And we haven't decided just yet. Yeah. Which kind of, I kind of want to make a little bit of pull, just pull over the top to make sure everything kind of gets uh, covered up. Yeah. It looks kind of good over there. Yeah. It ain't too dry, man. It's good tasting. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all, so we can give this thing a taste. Look at that. Ooh. first one you taste. Mm, you taste it first. Let's see what your taste buds working with. I need some chicken and some steak. It's 
some steak. I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> So here we go. That probably good some steak. It's crazy. You taste the meat more than you taste the. So it got flavor. Yeah. What you think? Good, Let me taste. And that's the sausage. It's kind of cooked, kind of hard. Yeah, good. Get that crisp. Mm -hmm. Can you get it? Oh yeah, that's good. Mm, that's good. Mm, mm, mm. All right, y'all. So that concludes this video. Mm mm. Y'all tell me what we eating with it. Oh yeah, y'all. This is my lip crisp. We're gonna probably make that later on Kool Aid pie. This is what we're going to eat with it. Ain't like some pasta with some good sweet Hawaiian rolls. Look at that. Ooh. Heaven. All right, y'all. That's going to include this thing. Shit, boy, RJ. I guess. That's wraps this video. Um, if y'all want more cooking videos, make sure y'all comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. If y'all want to cook something, let us know what to do. Get try it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, uh. We're gonna put the uh, the ingredients for this video in the description. Let y'all know what we use. What? No. <laughs> what is it like that? Cause that's a lot of ingredients. Well, not not really. It's one a lot. Just put like the, the noodles and then the. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna hook this up for y'all. This video will probably be uploaded sometime later this week. So stay tuned for that. Yep. And uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, comment down below. Turn on that post notification bell. Yeah. Everybody do it for this video. Gang.